Triple strikes. With the end of the stick, we strike the fingers. And with the middle part, we strike larger opponent's body parts. For example, his neck. The strikes should be structured, not just randomly placed. There are various approaches. Some schools teach to start the strikes from the top. Usually, two strikes from the top and one with the lower arm. There are also schools that start with the lower arm, strike the rib area first. In my opinion, it's better to deliver the strikes to the limbs first, because there is more power in the upper arm. In Slavic practices, the strike initiates from the shoulder. That makes a strike more natural and powerful. Of course, depending on the situation, this can be different. Therefore, we practice both variations. Strikes are delivered by the cross principle. Watch. One, two, three. One, two, three. The main principle of our system is that we strike the hard body parts of the opponent with our soft body parts. We do not punch the face. We deliver a strike to the face with our palms. With our hard body parts, we deliver strikes to the soft areas of the opponent's body. In this case, the hand is like a knife or a sword. The strike should not be spread out. Watch. I will use only a small amount of my internal energy, but he will feel it. You, as if you're hitting him with a knife, just like this. Этот удар откуда пошел? Look where it came from. Вот это удар пошел вот отсюда. Я больше не бью, то есть вот, вот он. Bare paw strike, an open hand strike by spreading the power and rotating at the point of contact. This strike is called bare paw strike. The strike goes through the opponent. I spread the point of contact and simultaneously rotate it. During the strike, I bend my knees a little and deliver the strike on the exhale. You know, you don't know what snake bite is. You guys know what that snake bites are? Where you're taking you like yeah, yeah. That's Indian, Indian burn. Indian burn, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what it feels.